Welcome back everyone to some more Ancestors Legacy. So before we actually start the video off, I just want to apologize to everyone from the last video because I was actually one of my viewers did mention that I did sound <clears throat> very like quiet apparently. Um, so I had a look back and yeah, I kind of sounded a bit quiet. I didn't realize that so um, I do apologize uh, for everyone about that. I was in a bit of a rush in the last video because I've got obviously a lot of college work to do. Um, I'm pretty kept up, but I've got caught, like you know I've got work in between, and um, I've also got my college work in that as well. So it's just obviously trying to you know like, like divide all my my time up between work, um, obviously YouTube and college work. So. Um, I, I, I am. I do apologize that the video wasn't too great, but uh, I'll try and improve that in the future. So thanks for my viewer for pointing that out to me. Also, I did not realize, but um, when I did mention about the how there's actually four campaigns, I didn't realize that there's actually the the, the campaigns are like split, and um, we'll pop that up in a minute. But like both campaigns are like split so there's like you follow one character on that campaign and then there's another character on that campaign i'll show you what i mean so yeah guys as you can see there's actually two characters in the vikings um storyline so we've actually just completed uh ulf uh his storyline and i didn't realize but there's actually someone called rorik that we can do now um, but there is four campaigns in here, so there's Vikings, Saxons, Germans, and Slabs. So in this video, just comment down below of what campaign we should do next after the Vikings, and uh, whatever gets the most comments of the campaign, what we will do, uh, we'll do that one. But anyway, let's start the next mission on the Vikings. In 860. Varangians were routed out from the Volgian territories by joint forces of Slavs and Krivichans. Despite their triumph, though, leaders of the tribes are unable to reach an understanding. Young and ambitious Pridbor, the leader of the Slavs, weaves a plot against popular and cold-headed Krivich Mitzislav. Pridbor knows his force, and the young prince's plan is dependent upon help from a famous Nordic ruler, Rurik. In order to keep his plan low-key, Pridbor seeks help from me after I exiled into the wild, driven by my mysterious visions. I was blessed with visions of the future that showed me Rurik's control of the Slavs' territory. Odin himself must have anointed the Nordic ruler, and thus I accepted Pridbor's quest. With the young prince's blessing, I took the role of a royal envoy and made my journey to the Baltic Sea. Weeks later, the sightings of the Viking ships proved my visions true. Rurik, accompanied by his brothers, sets his foot on the Varangian territory. His ambition? Headship of the Varangian tribes. All right then, so it looks like we have our first, well, actually, I think, I'm sure we already had a stealth mission, but uh, I'm sure we had more troops in the last stealth mission there. Oh my god, dude, look at his axe, though. He is ready for some battles, guys. Uh, so, where it shows you, I believe where it shows you, like, the highlighted areas, like, down here at the bottom, uh, it, which I think I believe that means yeah. So there's another actually enemy group round, so we need to be careful. Um, I'm gonna get him to hide in the, the bushes there. So that's pretty cool. But it looks like we are the only one. Well, we've got literally no troops here, so we need to be really careful and stealthy. Uh, so there is some troops. Oh, okay, that was pretty close. That was very close. We need to be careful. Where are you guys going? So we need to go over that area, but these guys are currently walking around, just patrolling the area. Not a full squad, but they're still pretty strong and I don't really want to risk it. Oh. <laughs> are you joking? 
Are you joking? Really? Wow. They literally they ate uh, the the dev oh my god are you kidding me the developers are like literally ha ha right l literally laughing in my face right now yeah of course that would happen all right let's see what's up here Ooh. so this is one of their sacred groves where they worship the ancestors somehow I doubt their forefathers are happy with what they've done to this place. Okay, so it literally just pointed out that we had other people around us there. So where's that other- where are they? Oh, okay, uh, please don't get spotted while we collect these resources. Where the heck are the other people? Oh, okay, they're just sitting over there, but it looks like there we can't actually use them. That's a bit of a shame. Alright, let's see if we can- Oh, they're coming back, they're coming back. Nope, no, no, don't get spotted, don't get spotted! Oh, that's close, that is so close. Come on, dude. Let's let's not get spotted, no man. I, I mean, go. if we if we get spotted by a full squad, where we are not yet. <laughs> All right, so we need to come over here to that little tent area. So let's just try and sneak past that infantry over there. Uh, collect any re uh, well resources while we're on the move. Come on, can I sneak past here? I don't. They shouldn't be able to see me behind a massive rock. I mean, if they do, that's a bit daft. There he is. Man, that blue- I'm sure that- Are you guys- Are you sure that Not isn't four? <laughs> Look at these bloody axe. We are glad to see you. What news from Rurik? Will he help us? Yes. He will arrive here in the morning. Good. We shall await his arrival then. We can't. Mistislav's army is way too strong right now. We should try to weaken it any way we can. We must find a way to gather more troops before Rurik's arrival. If only my barracks were not under Mstislav's control right now. These are your barracks. We will reclaim them tonight. Mstislav closed the main gate to the barracks. You won't be able to open it. There is another way around, to the north. But it is heavily guarded. I was forbidden to get anywhere near that gate. The only way we can get inside is to kill the guards there. Time to move. Hide, Vidar, quick! Someone's coming! Hey, you! What are you doing here? Nothing, really. It's just me and my guards. Right! I thought I heard some Viking scum roaming around. Oh well. Be safe, and call us if you see anything. This camp here will be our safe spot if we need to patch our wounds or regroup. One more important thing, the resources. There should be plenty within the gourd. I can look around. Hear me out. They don't suspect anything. We can use it to our advantage. I can walk freely around the entire Ladoga, as long as I don't go near their barracks or attack anyone. But the moment they see you, Vidar, they are bound to lose their temper and attack right away. All right then. So we have some infantry now, and there's two. Well, there's some dude called. Uh, well, we've got a guy who can just literally walk past these enemies. So I mean, could possibly do some stealth attacks. Uh, get the the drop on some enemies. All right, we need to be careful with um, our Viking general though, who's actually in cover behind here because obviously he can get spotted. However, it seems like the other two squads. They are very rec recognized with the enemy infantry, so we don't need to worry about them getting detected. Alright, okay, fair enough. Let's uh, see what, what, what can happen. <laughs> this is actually pretty difficult because there's so much um, infantry everywhere. Obviously, no these won't no. get detected. However, is it Vida? I think he said his name was Vida. Um, he does get detected. So we really need to be careful. I'm just scouting the area a little bit with this dude to try and see if there's any enemies around. Alright, okay. We need to be careful with V though, like 100%. That's who I'm looking with right now, but uh, we need to be very careful. Alright, let's switch to these guys. These don't actually get aggroed, I believe, by the enemy infantry, unless you do attack them, obviously. 
Um, so we need to be careful for that. However, we should be good. Uh, this will allow us to scout the area. And uh, let's see what happens. There's so much infantry. We need to be careful. Uh, let's get you armored up. Okay, we might have a shot here. We've, we've got infantry on the, in the front, to the right, and to the left. So I, I would like to get uh, Vidar to those bushes. However, I don't know if that's going to be possible. We might have to go around a little bit to the right. Uh, you guys can stay there. I want you to have a good little guard. Let's collect some resources. Look at them guys, man. I literally, the AI knows where you are. So like the tank are where you but obviously the pretend not to know where you are, which is annoying. I've heard stuff like that, I mean, um, have you ever played like, you know, Call of Duty games and stuff, and you're literally about to stealth past to like an enemy person, like, a, well, the AI, um, and, well, the, I was saying AI, but the NPC, um, but literally, he stands there, but literally, like, you move to another place, and then he goes over there again as well, I mean, it's like, what? Let's go. It's like the NPCs literally know where you are, but they're just, like, you know, messing with you and pretending that they don't. Alright, let's get everyone moving up. I still need to be careful with Vida. We're gonna try, I don't know what those circles are, it might be some sort of supplies that we need to pick up, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this is gonna be close again. Alright, that was, that was lucky. All right. As soon as the the well, as soon as them in, that infantry there walks past Vida, we can try and get them. Uh, well, Vida to move up a little bit as well. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. This mission. Uh, as long as long as we don't have Vida in that the that like you know that little light circle there of the enemies, I believe that we are safe. It doesn't matter if you're in the bushes though. We're safe overall. All right, let's get you moving. Go 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 go. Oh my god, look how much infantry are over there though. Come on, Vida, with your mighty axe, let's go. And it looks like we may be actually flanking, uh, I believe. It could be... I'm not too sure. I don't know where we're going, but I'm going to try and make him not get killed. Uh, try and do it as stealthy as possible. Oh, no, really? That was close. That was close. Obviously, it doesn't, I don't mind it for those... Uh, troops there because they don't get aggroed, but Vida, that was pretty close call with that infantry there. I don't know why, but a lot of this infantry here are not actually fully, you know, they haven't got like a full squad. It's like half a squad, so it's a bit strange. But they've got strong defences, so we need to be careful for that. Come on, come on Vida, come on. Well, the chance is right. God, look at him. I mean, how the heck has he not been seen already? He's, like, covered in blue. I mean, unless the snow's covering him, I, I don't know. But, uh, I mean, the axe is literally, like, pointing through the top of the bushes. We are close, but this area isn't safe. If I get near the barracks, they will attack right away. Right, okay. Uh, let's, let's get you moving up a little bit. We might have to engage these infantry. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Go, go, Vida, Vida. This is gonna be close. I think we'll get we're gonna get spotted. We're gonna get spotted. Yep. First combat. What? Eh? Oh yeah. That, okay. I got the the guy. Sorry, my bad. I got the 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 wrong infantry selected. Look at them hiding there. Um, I got the the dude who doesn't get aggroed on. I was like, whoa, hold on. How is he not getting figured there? He literally run right past them. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, get back, get back. Cover, cover, cover. Oh, that was close. Oh, man, as soon as they turn away, they come down. Are you kidding me? Oh, this is going to be a long day. Look at them just chilling in the bushes there. <laughs> man, that was, I was like, what is going on? Um, but it looks like we... Um, we're lucky that I thought that was actually Vira, but it was the other dude who doesn't get aggroed, so that was pretty lucky. <laughs> Alright, nice. So, the enemy infantry have actually just walked past us there, so we should have a clear shot for getting Vira. Yep, go, go, go. We should have a clear shot for him moving up. And uh, we can try and regroup everyone now. Oh, what? Squad under attack. Who's, who, who's under attack? Okay, that's um, 
That's very strange. It literally just said squad under attack. But no one's under attack, so that's very, very strange. Alright, fair enough. If we're under attack, I think it's a bit of a glitch there. Alright, yeah. Okay. Yeah, some enemy infantry. I don't know if we should engage. Should I engage? Yeah. Do you know what? We might. I might engage with them. Let's get them moving up a little bit. Get a nice little. Ooh, what we can get? Um, defensive, yeah. I might. Oh, come on. I don't know. Should I? Should I? I don't know. Maybe. Should we attack? I'm debating because, I mean, there's no more infantry in sight. I don't know if I'm going to risk it. Do you know what? No. Why risk it, guys? Why, why or risk it? We've only got, like, literally, well, one infantry squad of spears and two generals. So, I mean, it's not, uh, it's not really worth it, is it? Alright, okay, nice. Alright, so it looks like we might have to take these guys out, though. They will all die before the sunrise. There we go. We will kill you all. Traitors. Reminds me so much of Star Wars. You traitor. And then starts whipping out that uh, bloody bat. <laughs> all right, come on. We've almost destroyed them. Nice. All right, let's move in. Move into the compound. Go, go, go. All right, okay. This is going to be a battle. Come on, charge, lads. There we go. Nice. Uh, heavy blows. Holy Fury and Redemption. Alright, we'll take them. So, we're in, a, in the infantry battle now. Uh, we should be alright. I mean, the generals. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that cinematic thing. I love that little scene. It's pretty cool. Uh, alright, so we should get rid of these enemies actually pretty quickly. Come on. So close. We need to go down. Oh, come on, Vidal. Come on, Vidal. Look at that bloody act. You should have gone for the head, man. <laughs> What's he hitting that? Did you see that? He was like hitting it, like hitting and not even getting any any blows. What what was all that about? <laughs> Alright, uh, some spears and shields. Get some, we'll get a bit of both. We'll get 50-50. Why not? Alright, let's recruit some troops and see what happens. But we've uh, captured this area and um, let's get some more of these resources and just see what we need to do next. Got them all. The bells! They found out already. It's too early. We might not make it. We will. You have my word. Stick with me. Defend the barracks before Rurik arrives. Finally. But we still have many hours until the morning. I hope we can stand this long. Alright, here they come. We've got some archers. We've got a nice defensive. What kind of view is this? I don't want to see that guy's butt. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh... Our spears are actually already engaging with the enemy spears as well. Uh, we've got a nice defensive area here. I mean, look at all the Vikings, man. This is ridiculous. Uh, that's good. Vira and his massive axe uh, going in there as well. I'm trying to see what's going down there, but it's a bit awkward. It's a bit of an awkward view. All right, cool. Some so more, some more infantry. Um, can we get some more, some more shields? I thought we had. Uh, I swear, I thought it said we had archers there before. Um, we mustn't have, uh, we, must, we just have shields and spears. Right, we're just going to have to try and hold on as much as we can. And uh, really do whatever we can. Uh, let's get Vida to get back here a little bit. I don't want to lose him. If he dies, then I have to restart the game all over again. Uh, which I really don't want to do. Oh my god, there's so much infantry though. There's so many of them. Are you joking? Uh, let's get you boys moving up. Uh, I'm gonna keep them down there just in case. Everyone get in defensive formation. Uh, should I move these guys up? Because there's another entrance down here and I don't know if they can get through here. Um, I'm gonna actually make sure that they stay here. I did build a trap here as well just in case they do breach. Uh, let's make sure. Okay, we've got two guys, well, two squads down there holding just in case. But I mean, Jesus, look how many squads we have. Uh, Alright. Let's let's get you attack. I'm gonna get you to fall back so we can regenerate your health. Run, 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 run. Let's get you boys going in. Boom! Look at that, nice. Uh, what I'm probably gonna do is attack. Uh, well, because I'm literally our barracks is right here. What I might do is like a little technique. Is once my infantry get a little bit too you know low on health, I'm gonna fall them back to the barracks. 
with the troops that I've already fallen back with, like these guys here, now they're fully um, squatted up, I'm going to get them back into the main battle here, should we, I think I might get my, my spears to fall back a little bit, we took a lot of damage, um, let's get you guys to fall back, I'm going to get you to recover your health, shields moving, oh look at that, nice, let's defend that entrance, we cannot lose this area, uh, let's replenish your squad and heal up as well, come on, Got a nice defense here. Uh, we're still holding off. Oh my god. <laughs> Literally, have, have you seen the guys in the back? They're just like waving their swords, pretending that they're fighting. I mean, you would, wouldn't you? You wouldn't want to be the, the first guy in that little, tiny, little claustrophobic area. Or the, is that like the gatehouse or something? I think it's like the gatehouse or the entrance. Um, imagine just like fighting in that little tight area. Ugh, be awful. Right, you guys falling back. Let's heal you up. Um, I don't know how long we have to do it for, I believe it's until, I think we just have to survive until reinforcements show up I believe, come on let's keep holding on, oh, we've got some more infantry coming, however it's not a full squad so we should be alright, we're doing pretty well, uh, we're holding out, the enemy have actually lost a kind of few, uh, few squads, so we're pretty doing well, Vidar is in that battle guys, you can see him with his massive sword, oh and there goes our shield troops man. <laughs> That's me mental this like. We've got like literally more squads than us and we're holding still, which is really good. Uh they have took a little bit of damage, they still have a, a, a kind of a full squad. Um but I'm not gonna take any chances, I'm gonna get you guys to fall back. Uh, what can we do with you? Let's bring you over here. I don't want two generals over there just in case uh we have an issue. Okay, we we're gonna have to hold this area boys. Hold keep holding it. Okay, you guys fall back, fall back. Uh, our replenished spears, I want you moving. Get to the front line, go, go, go. Go, go, go. Hold the line, boys. Uh, let's get you guys to replenish as well and get you healed up. Actually, I think we should be alright for, for healing. Um, I would love to know your thoughts, guys, of your game. Well, sorry, of your game. Um, I would love to know your thoughts, guys, of what you think about this game so far. Um, if you do like this kind of stuff, I'd be, I would really mean a, a lot to know. Um, I did obviously do World Thunder videos and stuff, so obviously this is a big change from planes, you know, doing World War II stuff. Don't worry, I will probably will get back to that eventually, but it's just this game, um, originally I started my YouTube channel on strategy, and I love strategy games no matter what kind of, you know, what kind of era it's from. And uh, not that long ago, actually, uh, we did a Company of Heroes 2 strategy game, and I could possibly, if you want, I could do the American side of that campaign, because we complete the Russian or the Soviets, and um, we do have an American side of that. I might start doing a lot more strategy stuff, like, uh, on my channel for the new year. Uh, I would love to know your thoughts on that. If you want to see more War Thunder, then I'm happy to do that. Um, or if you like to see a bit of both, strategy and War Thunder, then uh, I'm happy to do that. It's just, you know, you, you do get, like, I, I do like War Thunder, I mean, I love it because it's like, like a, I just love learning about war planes and stuff. But um, you do, you know, playing the same thing over and over again, it kind of gets a bit repetitive and a bit boring. And it just, just like, you know, ruins the game for you because you've played so much. So I'm just trying to, you know, play other things and that, um, to try and keep my... My mind open and then go back to war from there. Alright, okay, well, it looks like we're doing pretty well holding these areas. I mean, I don't know how many squads have fallen back and healed up, but we've managed to hold off so far, um, which is really good. We've got more squads coming out of the building. Go, go, go. Keep holding them off. Everyone's healed up. I don't want you to build. Go and attack. Actually, we may have, we may actually have this. We may have this. Let's get you to fall back. I want you to heal up and get more, more infantry in your squads. All right, nice. Oh my God! Look how many there is. Oh my God! Yep, we're definitely gonna lose this. Yep, 100%, 100%. Spears, get to the front line. Go, 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 go. That is ridiculous. Look how many infantry squads you've got, man. Get in the battle. Oh yeah, we're gonna be in deep, deep. I'm not gonna say the word just in case I get absolutely like, screwed by that new 
YouTube low way. If it's not kid friendly, then you're pretty much knackered. Uh, let's get you falling back. Mind like since it's kid kid friendly, um, you really you shouldn't be having your kids watching you know massacres um, on the game. But I mean, you don't, you never know what parents let kids watch these days. Mind though, I am kind of a hypocrite myself there because I mean. I remember when you know when San Andreas came out for GTA, well GTA San Andreas. I really wanted to get it for my PlayStation, um, but obviously I was too young, and um, like my mom wouldn't allow me to get it, which I was really annoyed about. Obviously because I was a kid, I wanted to get the new um, top-notch game that was out. But um, when my brother bought the game, I remember when he sneaked out, when he well, he went out every time he went out. Oh dear. Okay, well, we do have some squads on the other side, but what I was saying is, I think when my brother went out, I used to, like, nip on his PlayStation and play GTA San Andreas. When he got back, obviously, I didn't know what I was doing, and I was completing these campaign missions, and when he was getting back, he was like, how the hell am I so far? He was like, Chris, what are you doing? You being on my PlayStation? I was like, no. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I got up to some naughty trouble when I was younger, like, but, I mean, I'm obviously a lot worse than sneaking on my brother's PlayStation, but, uh, that's for another story, guys, but, uh, oh my god, I'm losing a lot of squads here, uh, I might go for defence, no, I'll go for offensive, I was gonna go for defence, but I want my, I think when I do charges up through that gate, we could possibly get some hits on defence, definitely, uh, get, a, basically, a split between, get some defensive and, um, offensive, abilities up and running yeah we might lose this like I'm struggling with my troops we're losing a lot of troops come on guys heal heal oh okay we've breached through the main entrance everyone take up the general take out the general come on come on come on come on oh my god we are struck we are gonna have some issues here like are they breaching for the moon gate no they haven't breached through this rear gate here um, but there's a lot of squads, so if they do get in, we're gonna really suffer. I, I really need to hold this gate. You guys, fall back, fall back. Come on, Spears, charge in. Nice, reinforcements. Reinforcements boost morale. Come on. Uh, let's get you all squatted up and healed. I honestly don't know how I'm holding this area. I'm struggling with my main area. Uh, let's get defensive. I'm struggling with the main gate. I'm gonna have to get somebody else to fall back. Um, come on, keep healing. Right, dude, dude, dude. It is getting brighter. The dawn will be here soon. All right, nice. We're gonna have to get some squads to the main gate. Come on, heal up, everyone, heal up. Come on, help with the main gate. We need to um, take up the enemy general. He's super strong. All right, nice reinforcements. We've got reinforcements to them. Uh, the, there is still quite a bit of squads at the rear gate here, so I need to take out these infantry first before uh, we concentrate on them. Come on, there's so many of them. Dude, you're going to have to fall back. Fall back, fall back. You need to heal. If you die as well, we'll end up leaving the, losing the game. We can't lose the game. Come on, guys. Come on, lads. Come on. Let's just... Honestly, we've held this so long. I'm not losing it now. Come on. L literally, I'm holding on by a thin piece of string right now, man. This is ridiculous. Um, we need to get more squads. Come on, heal up, heal up, get back in the fight. Okay, we're, we're going to lose these guys. We're gonna we've literally done no damage, are you kidding me? Alright, okay, we've lost them. Spears. Okay, here we go, here we go. Attack, attack. Oh, we're in such trouble, guys. We're in such trouble. We're going to have to get you guys to fall back. And defend the barracks. We've held on so good as well. There's literally only a couple of infantry squad, well, a couple of infantry here. Come on, come on, come on! Almost there. We've almost destroyed them. Come on, lads! Come on, Vida. Let's get you fallen back. You can help defend the barracks. Come on, Vida. Come on, use your mighty axe. Go for the head. Go for the head, Vida. Right, nice. Is there reinforcements? I think we've got reinforcements. Yes! Nice, we've got reinforcements in the distance there. I've got a lot of my infantry falling back to help defend the barracks. Come on, lads. 
We've got this. Come on. Come on. Here comes Rorik and his reinforcements. Have a look, they look how nice. Very nice. Yes, all right, everyone. Concentrate on the general. We're, we're really struggling right now, though. Come on, concentrate. Come on, lads, charge in. Charge. Nice. Oh my god, it's literally battle for survival right now. Blue versus reds. Uh, can I get Vidar to retreat? He needs to heal. Uh, well, you can. Uh, I guess Vidar just. Oh no. Some more infantry squads moving up. We're gonna have a bit of an issue if our reinforcements don't get here. Alright, never mind. Here they come. Oh yes, boys. We've got reinforcements. Sprite is zero. Well, Sprite has joined the Pepsi, Pepsi side, and we're going against Coca-Cola now. Oh my God! <laughs> Look at this. This reminds me so much, you know, the toy soldiers where you had like little green men and blue men and yellow and all that kind of stuff fighting. It's literally just blue versus well, blue and green versus red. What is going on? This is ridiculous. It's just like a massive rainbow fight right now. <laughs> we're just missing purple. Come on. Come on. Well, it is a kind of a purple color. Oh my god, though. I'm so happy we've got reinforcements, but we're struggling. We need to take out that general. Um, I've literally lost my squads in here. There's literally so many infantry piling, right, piling in right now. Damn, look at this battle, guys. Look at this battle. Alright, nice. Oh, look at that. <laughs> it's so brutal. Oh, Vira. He went for the head. He went for the head! Oh my god, what a legend! <laughs> Did you see that person in the back there? Like, literally running away with that arms up in the air. Oh, this game is great. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching this part. Don't forget to put your choice of campaign down below. Are we going to be playing as the Holy Roman Empire? As the Germans? Well, it's not actually Roman if the... I'm sure it was like the, the, the something empire, I can't remember now, it's not, the, it's ho the holy empire, but it's a Germans, uh, we have the um, Slabs, we have, uh, we also have the Saxons, we have, a, I think we, that's the three campaigns that we have now, after the Vikings, but put your comments down below of which one I should play, but thank you so much everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.